I'm now going to add some uh, grey, some diluted black into the sky for these um, distant clouds. And it's important to make small shapes because if you do them big they'll look closer. So I'm not going to do any drawing, I'm just going to paint roughly what I see. I did hope that I could put it on damp, but when I tried that there you can see that the cerulean blue lifted off, which is one of the characteristics of a granulating paint. So I'm going to try and get away with not damping it, but just making overlays of um, this grey, this diluted black, and I'm happy with the result. So if you've used Windsor Blue Green shade, you may not have the same problem with lifting. That this, uh, I very rarely use the cerulean. I've sort of felt, as I had some left from before I used Windsor Blue Green shade in the, in the past, it was my favourite um, blue of this tone. Um, but now I'm now I know why I use Windsor Blue Green shade a lot of the time. However, the overlay grey is working well. I'm not getting hard edges because it's a very thin wash and I'm making sort of small shapes onto the dry paper. So this is a very nice, enjoyable way of doing a, uh, some distant clouds in the sky. I'm using a small brush and zero so that I don't make shapes that are too big and out of keeping with the, the sense of perspective. And you can see now as I go in behind the um, the wave splashes, you can see the yellow of the masking fluid where I'm going to get some nice um, white paper showing through for the, uh, for the, for the splash, splashes of the waves. I'm going to go right in next to those shapes. Flying very slightly lighter, but I can just go over and do a little bit more, and I'm not getting hard edges, and I'm not getting any lifting off, so this is working as I would have hoped. This is a homemade black, so I'm having to pause now and again and just um, stir it up a bit because it does have a, a tendency to split. The cloud area is a little bit heavier just next to these birds. Interesting. It's very important to not have this paint too thick. We want the, the blue to show through, so it's, uh, it's working well. The clouds are actually on the horizon here. And they're slightly heavier just here, so I'm just layering with this thin wash, just sort of building it up a bit. That's that side. There's a little streak just above the top of the hills. Right, so over on the left we've also got some, and you might have noticed that I've actually gone over my pencil outlines of the birds um, with a heavier um, 2B pencil, because if, if some of this background grey inevitably 
goes over them, I won't be able to see my drawing. So I've sort of gone over my drawing more heavily than I have for the rest of the painting, just so I don't lose my, my bird shapes. I was thinking that I could do the whole of this top area grey, but I don't want to have to redraw the birds from scratch because it took quite a while to get their shapes right. So. So for the birds, I'll be using this colour, but a thicker mix. The sky is a little bit darker over this side, so I'm just doing small overlaid wash shapes around. I like the way the blue is showing through the, the black here. So uh, this painting was originally an oil painting and if you've done any oil painting yourself you'll, you'll know that you can put a, a colour down like for example that blue and you can, when it's dry you can mix a thin transparent colour and dilute it with a bit of oil and a bit of um, turps maybe and then you can um, do a glaze so that you, the colour underneath shows through, rather like we're doing here with the thin black watercolour or grey mix, diluted black mix. It's the same principle that the blue is showing through because in this case my watercolour is translucent anyway, but I've diluted it to the extent that another colour will show through. So it's become an overlaid effect This will probably need another layer, that particular bit. So we've got some birds in there. This sky here will probably just need another layer. And as it's dried already, I think I'm going to do it now. While I know while I know what this um How, what the texture of this paint is. So now looking at the photograph, I'm going to take a damp brush and just soften the edge of this if I can. No, it's lifting off straight away. So what I did before was right, just overlaying is fine. So I'm going to stand up and look at it. Yeah, I think I could just do a little bit more just up here. more just above there, a bit stronger just there. It's good to step back from your work and check what you're doing. That's where it, it lifted off. So before I take a photograph, I'll wait till that's dry and I'll do a, a layer over the top and it will be fine. But it just goes to show the best laid plans. Right, that'll do for now.